Seed testing is something that gives people an idea of what they're getting when they buy a product. It says if that label on that bag of seeds says this is corn and it's such and such a variety and it's such and such a germination, that gives them an idea of what they're getting in that bag. So if they're paying many hundreds of dollars for that bag of corn, they want to know what they're getting and they want to know the product is good. Um, you don't want to put out $10,000 for something and take it home and find that it's, it won't produce or it's not what they say it is. Well, seed testing is a very critical part of global food supply. I mean, seeds are also grain. I mean, the only reason they're different is one's ground up or processed for us to eat and one's planted. So, for instance, health testing of seeds ties in very well with testing grain for it. So whether you're doing seed pathology for seeds or it's pathology for grain, it's the same process. You're looking to see whether fungi present or bacteria or viruses. And of course, to have a good food supply, you've got to start with the quality seeds. I mean, it's got to, for the most part, the quality is necessary to have a good yield. Because if you plant a seed that's slightly moldy, the ending grain at the end of the testing season is not going to be moldy. But still, that seed has got to be able to produce the plant to end up producing the grain that we use for food and fiber and that sort of thing. Tim DeCray, I live at Steel, North Dakota. Um, operate a small grain row crop farm here. Um, produce multiple crops, uh, the traditional corn, soybean, wheat. Uh, grow some canola, flax, do edible beans. Um, produce sunflower in the past was part of the Sunflower Commission. Um, Probably about a third of our bushels do go to seed production, so we sell certified primarily wheat, barley, flax off the farm. Well, since we do seed production here, generally means um, working with, for us working with the state seed department and also other uh, seed vendors we're purchasing seed from, we're curious what, you know, what we're buying quality-wise, uh, always looking to see, uh, you know, for improved things out there, uh, disease packages, uh, yield is always the primary thing, one of the primary things we're looking at. Um, so yeah, we, like I said, work with State Seed Department uh, a lot, you know, purity analysis, uh, germinations, uh, I guess all the things that pertain to producing certified seed. The basis of why we test seed is so we are giving that seed the best possible chance it can get to perform. Seed testing is what defines our global world supply. And seeds are the basis of our food chain. We have to have the seeds to grow the corn, to grow whatever that feeds ourselves or the animals. The animals in turn feed us, and it's just a circle. And some states even have mottos that go from plow to plate, where you started with the plow and you ended up with that ear of corn on your plate. So it's, it, to me, it's a very, very solid foundation globally. If we don't have food, we don't eat, we don't survive. Our impact is to every year go out and try to produce the best quality crop we can um, because uh, basically the world depends on food to stay alive and we have to consistently, constantly be trying to make sure that w for whatever reason we don't have a disease or an insect problem or because of drought or excess rain um, fall short on our production. It's 
<clears throat> we're self-serving in a way. We like to produce the best crop we can so we can potentially generate the largest income for ourselves that we can. But on the same, on the other, another part of it is we have to consistently produce a good volume, good quality crop for the world to eat. 